Welcome everybody to our new series called Blast, Blast Off, Off, where we're learning that we can launch our faith up into the sky and beyond. Mission Control, Mission Control, we got some new people here and we need some landing instructions, over. Yes, new people, we are so excited if you're new around here. We send mail out every single week to all of our friends. So if you're new, text in your name and the word new to the number on the screen and we'll start sending you our mail. We send out prizes, color sheets, letters. It's fun and I know you're gonna love it. So if you're new, text in your name and the word new to the number on the screen. Roger that. Wait, who's Roger? Uh, should we blast off? Three, two, one, blast, blast off! off! Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. All engine run. Hello everyone, my name is Manny and I am so excited to be here with you today for our brand new series called Blast Off. Can you guys say that with me? Three, two, one, Blast Off. Good job. So in our Blast Off series, we're gonna be talking all about how we can launch our faith in Jesus up so high, like as high as outer space, which is where we are today. It's pretty cool. And when you're in outer space, you should always watch out for Asteroids! Everybody duck! Whew, we missed it. It was so big. And that reminds me of our big idea. So every week we have this thing called the big idea. And the big idea is what we want you to remember no matter what. And this week the big idea is we can spend time with God. Can you say that with me? We can spend time with God. Great job. And you know what? One of the ways that we can spend time with God is by praying. And I wanna talk about praying a little bit. So when we pray, sometimes the person that's praying will ask us to fold our hands or bow our heads or get nice and quiet. And do you know why they do that? They do that so that we're not poking our friends or that we're not distracting anybody or looking around, that we're giving all of our attention and all of our respect to God and the person that's praying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to get nice and quiet so we can pray, okay? God, we thank you for our earth and we thank you for space and we thank you for all the wonderful things that you've made, especially each and every person that's watching this right now, God, we thank you. I ask that you be with us as we learn about you today, Jesus. Help us to open our hearts and minds. And in your name we pray, amen. Okay, we got lots of fun stuff planned, but first let's go to our first song and we'll be right back. As we shout out the name of Jesus There are people searching for so much more Shine your light, show them what's worth living for Let it shine in the morning when you rise Let it shine when you're found in the darkest night There is hope in Jesus, life for
Shiny light, shiny light, shiny brighter. Dance around, dance around, dance around. Shout it out, shout it out, shout it out. Sing it out, sing it out. Great job, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna get right into our story. And it comes to us from the book of Luke. So in the New Testament, the book of Luke, and it's about Jesus. And Jesus is walking along and he's traveling and he stops in this village and he meets two sisters, Mary and Martha. Now, don't get confused because this Mary is not Jesus's mom. This is a different Mary. And I'd like to think that I relate to the Mary in this story because she goes right up to Jesus when he comes in and she sits down and she listens to him. But the more I read it, the more I start to think I'm probably a lot more like Martha and I wanna show you. So it's in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 40. So let's read. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I can think of so many times where I've thought, am I the only one that wants to help? Jesus, tell someone to help me. And I'm teaching you this story because I think it can teach all of us something really important about spending time with God. So let's watch our video and we'll be right back. One day, a woman named Martha invited Jesus to come to her house. When Jesus arrived, Martha didn't spend much time with him because she was so busy serving and working and doing chores. But Martha's sister Mary sat at Jesus' feet and listened to everything he had to say. Martha got frustrated that her sister wasn't helping her. So she went to Jesus and said, it's not fair that my sister just sits here while I do all the work. Tell her to come and help me. But Jesus told Martha, Martha, you are worried over too many details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her. Martha had let stress, worry, and her responsibilities distract her from spending time with Jesus. But Mary knew that peace only comes from sitting at the feet of Jesus. When we spend time with Jesus, we can find this peace too. Only when we are near Him do we find healing, wholeness, and truth that the world and its worries can never take away. Wouldn't that be amazing to have Jesus come to your house and visit with you and you're able to ask Him all the questions you want? Oh, I have so many questions that I want to ask Him. I'd want to see, well, first I'd want to know how tall He really is. Then I'd want to know, What's the trick to walking on water? How did you do that? Then I'd want to know too, how's my grandpa doing in heaven? But the reality is that we can't ask Jesus to come to our house and visit us like Mary and Martha did, but we can sp spend time with God. And there's lots of different ways that we can do that. We already talked about one of them, which was prayer. Another way that we can spend time with God is reading our Bibles. It's so important, boys and girls, that you read your Bibles or that you listen to someone read the Bible to you if you can't read yet. Or you could even, there's apps out where you can listen to the Bible on your phone or on your tablet. You don't even have to read it. Another way that's super fun that we can spend time with God too is worship where we sing and we dance and we listen to songs about God and about how good He is and how much He loves us. And another way we can spend time with God is by going to church. 
Now, that might look different for some of us, right? Some of you are here at Kids Crossing in Ogden, Utah. Hey, Kids Crossing, we're so glad you're here. And then some of you can't come to church this week or right now, so you're watching online. We have lots of friends online, like Josie in Idaho, or Brantley in Alabama, or the Abdullah kids in Wisconsin, or the Chirac boys in Alaska. They all watch us online and we have lots of friends online and we're so excited that you're watching. And when you watch and listen to videos about Jesus and about God and about the Bible stories, that's like spending time with God too. And speaking of the Bible and spending time with God, let's do our Bible verse. So our Bible verse comes to us from the Old Testament, the book of Psalm, and it comes to us from chapter 119. There's a lot of chapters in Psalms. And it's verse 105. It's way back there, but it's a short verse, so I think it's gonna be really easy for you guys to say with me. So are you ready? So we're gonna say it together, and it's, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Psalm 119, 105. Can you say it with me? Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Psalm 119, 105. Great job. So now let's talk about that. Your word. What word do you think they're talking about? Spaghetti? No, you guys are so silly. Faith? Close. Have you guessed it yet? So when the Bible talks about your word, a lot of times what it's talking about is the words that God gave to us in the Bible. So whenever you hear it say your word, it's talking about all the words that God has given to us so that we can learn about him and learn how much he really loves each and every one of us. Now, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about impossible things since we're in space. And at one time, space and going to space seemed a little bit impossible. But as humans, we made it there. And so I wanna to talk to you about a potato. Hold on, let me get there, okay? So things in our lives can sometimes feel impossible, like spending time with God might feel right, because you've got homework, and then you got chores, and then you got friends to play with, and then you gotta go to sleep, and you gotta eat all your vegetables, and when do we have time to spend time with God? And I'll tell you, that only seems harder as you get older, but it's not impossible. Just like my potato, and sticking a straw through a potato is, is not impossible. Well, I mean, it looks impossible, but it's really not because someone gave me a tip. They said, if you put your finger over a straw, you can stick it right through a potato. So let's try this. I wanna see if they were really right. I'm gonna stick it one, two, three, Whoa, see, it's really not that impossible. But do you wanna know how that worked? So when I put my finger over the straw, I filled it with air. Kind of like when we're really upset and someone asks us to take a deep breath to calm down. Do you wanna try it with me? Ready? Let's take a deep breath and go, and then let it out. Just like that. And. When we love Jesus and we put our faith and trust in God, God sends the Holy Spirit to fill us with what we need to do hard things, like putting a straw through a potato. Not really, but hard things, kind of like saying you're sorry when you're embarrassed or you kind of don't want to, or sharing with someone even though you don't feel like you should share, like this is mine and I don't want to share it, right? or talking to our friends about Jesus. God sends his Holy Spirit to fill us with everything that we need to do hard things and impossible things that we feel like are impossible or like how we feel sometimes like, I don't have time to spend with you, God. I've got so many other things to do. But God helps us. He sends the Holy Spirit to help each and every one of us, boys and girls. We love you and Jesus does too. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Darkness, follow his lead and light. 